it was all survivors around me. I thought they were all my aunts and uncles, but they weren't really related to me. And they each had just wonderful look at on life. Like, you know, as a child, they told me their stories and I just took them as part of life. A lot of the poems and things like that are about bully, being bullied, isolation, just being down on yourself and things like that. And But the people in the poems. I feel your heart. Mother, is that you? Do you feel mine? Do you see me? Even though they went through these occurrences, they knew that they would get out. They, knew, they just felt like this was just a part of time for them. You never knew what was gonna happen next. And I think that was something that was really disturbing to the mind. You don't know if you're gonna get arrested, you don't know if you're gonna get clubbed, you don't know if your house is gonna be ransacked. First position, second position, turning, leaping up and down. It's so raw and so new. He loved me, he married me, my soldier in me. This is about when the soldiers came in to free the camp. This one soldier fell in love with this woman. Everybody has different struggles. So I think getting out of this book and reading it, actually by reading these struggles and, and how people live through them and, and created different ways to live through them. I mean, each story is, is a completely different than the other one. My favorite dreams are in my head. Now in here they have been said. Pain and suffering make little sense, but at least we can all have resilience. Avoid the mistake of following the past so we can make humanity last. Please heed this message loud and clear, and my hope for peace will soon be here.